Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do a haul on some thrifted luxury baby items. Um, so even before I got pregnant, I had made up in my mind that um, number one, we were not going to go broke uh, trying to prepare for this baby. So a lot of the things in my nursery in general and things that I have for our baby that's on the way um, are thrifted anyway. So um, I was determined to make sure that I could find the best items for the lowest prices. And there are some things that I truly, truly wanted, um, but I was absolutely, positively not going to pay market price for some of these things because number one, every parent that I know will tell you um, babies grow fast. They don't, they don't, they may or may not like things. Um, they may or may not fit things or fit inside of things. So don't go crazy investing a whole lot of money on something that you're not even sure that this little person is going to like nor enjoy so with that being said um i'm going to do a haul of three uh quote unquote luxury items for baby because these are things that you don't necessarily need you can get along with the basics of course you do not have to get any of these things but um these are just some things that i have my heart set on and so i decided to go the uh, thrifty route in getting them so the first thing is a halo bassinet so um i wanted this halo bassinet because uh, my husband and i our bed in our bedroom is really high off the ground probably about maybe I would say about 30 inches off the ground it's really high um, so it's not really a bed that you would want your baby to be sleeping on just in case they fall off because it's not like the normal height of a bed where you got like a box screen and mattress we have like of course the bed frame a box spring another box spring and then we have a mattress so it's like super high and the halo bassinet has a mechanism to go all the way up as high as the bed and um, right now I have it adjusted in the low point so but it does have the capability to go way up up to the height of our mattress so that the baby can um, not not co-sleep but be very close to us and um, so this was something that I really had my eye on I got this baby um, for a hundred dollars off of Facebook market so that was the first this is the first thing in my haul that I want to share with you guys. This thing, I think it runs for, um, I want to say somewhere around $200 for this bassinet. I think it's $200. Somewhere around that. Um, and I got it for $100 off Facebook Market. Um, it is amazingly clean. There are no stains. Um, nice and white. It works like it's supposed to. All of the parts came with it. The mattress, everything I got it from the previous owner. Um, it just looks so nice and I can't wait to use it. The second thing is um, this outlet monitor. Now, this is probably one of the things that I wanted above all else. Um, just because I do have a um, STEM background. My bachelor's degree is in mechanical engineering so I'm really into technology and if you know anything about this outlet monitor it is a heart rate monitor and it also um, it also monitors your baby's oxygen levels when they are um, away from you like napping in the crib or in the bassinet or something like that so um, um, this uh, outlet monitor this runs for three hundred dollars now and the price continues to creep up for this they even have on their website they even have financing for this thing and there's just no way they also sell them in Sam's Club and there was no way I was about to pay three hundred dollars for this but I do feel that it's absolutely worth it um, in my process of finding one to buy um, two parents had little testimonials that they had wrote up about this thing saying um, in the little um, advertising advertisement they said that they that they really appreciate this this device and that um, one lady said her son was not breathing the other guy said his 
daughter was swaddled and she rolled over and was suffocating and it went off and they were just so thankful to have it so um i had been hunting and hunting this down they are you they are pretty easy to find however the price for the price i wanted to pay i had to wait a little while so it's originally three hundred dollars but most people try to resell their outlets for 200 um, or 225 and I would that was still too much for me um, my magic number was 150 and I waited and I waited and I missed two somebody had swooped in before me I saw the post before me and set up the pickup but I finally did found one um, I uh, find one I found this for 150 also on Facebook market it came with I have I took the cords out just so I can show you guys but it comes with a wall charger and it also comes with a mini USB port to charge the sock um charge the sock as well and so it kind of it also came with a newborn size sock and a zero to three month sock so i was so glad to get this um so excited to use it i've already set up the app on my phone and i'm also going to share that with other family members like my mom um or my grandma and my husband so they can also be you know uh have that you can invite other family members to um to the app to monitor the baby's uh heart rate and o2 levels as well so the last thing i want to share um is this um uh, for mom's mama room no this isn't the last thing but the third thing is this for mom's mama room i've had this for a very long time um a year about this almost a year ago maybe more than that um, I found it on Craigslist it also comes with the um, the uh, wall charger the or the wall adapter and also uh, you can use a an auxiliary cord to play music or white noise from your phone it still has the same eight settings this is an older model but I'm okay with that um, it works perfectly um and it's just super nice so this retails for three hundred dollars as well i got it for one hundred dollars from a guy off craigslist um he said he bought it for his son and his son hated it which made me feel a little bit better by for not buying this new because some people's kids like love it it's like literally split down the middle it depends on your kid some people's kids love it. Some people's kids hate it. So there's no way I'm going to spend $300 on it if I don't even know if my kid is going to like it. So um, I got it for $100. Um, and I know that these prices, are still they still seem pretty steep. But for the cost of all of this, like this is about $800 worth of baby gear that I got for... like three hundred dollars all of these three things so just just these three that you see in the screen here so um yeah it works perfectly um only thing i don't like this color but the they do sell the lining for um or the covers for the mamaru on amazon so um i probably will get a color in uh, a, co a new cover in gray to replace this one but it's always good to have too so that's that so that's another luxury. The last I had to get up and go get this, y'all. So the last item is also a four moms item. It is the four moms um, baby bathtub. This retails for fifty dollars, and I got it from a guy on. Um, I think it was Craigslist also. Um, I got it from him for $25. Um, the, what attracted me to this tub is the fact that, um, number one, it has the, um, the temperature monitor, um, on this tub. And also the fact that when you run the water into it, it drains all of the dirty water and keep continues to fill with clean water so I really like that but the main thing was the temperature monitor I am somewhat of a um, worry wart and so really you know that that is what really prompted me to get this tub and also the outlet monitor I'm kind of high strong um, and I just like um, indicators uh, just to know because I know that there's gonna be a lot of anxieties around it 
being a new mom for me and so I just want to if I can try to get things that are going to assist me you know in doing that so that's another thing um, and also I also have gotten mixed reviews on the tub as well so that's why you know I kind of like let me just let me just buy these things secondhand um, just because you know so it won't be such a huge investment and also um, just because you know you you don't use this for long like this is for you know a small baby and I my husband was a big baby and um, he was big when he was born I wasn't so big but I did get really really huge so I think that our baby there's a strong possibility that he will be a chunk so <laughs> he may not fit in this for very long so that's why or or it even if it was a girl, I would think the same thing. She's probably, she would probably have been big too. So, um, I just, you know, and you, in at when, the, at the time when they start sitting up, you are going to go from this to a regular tub. So I'm just like, no, I don't want to pay $50 for this tub. It may be a little bit more than that, but the last time I checked this tub, the four moms, um, infant bathtub was $50. So yeah um that's just you know my take on life in general not even just um it's not even not even just about baby just um in life in general i always tell myself i'm going to have whatever i want in this world in terms of things and i'm going to have it on clearance okay um i really am of the belief that uh you don't have to sacrifice your arm your leg your sleep or your savings to have nice things if you think smart and if you can get over the fact that um you know it's second hand some people have a really hard time with that i don't really have a hard time with that especially when it comes to baby stuff because what do babies do sleep and eat they don't you know they don't tear things up they don't wear things out you know until they really get to moving and toys and all that but when they are infants and when they are just literally here to eat sleep and poop i really don't have an issue with you know having anything secondhand from a baby but i have one more thing to add um as far as buying things from people on craigslist or facebook market i just thought of this um i know that's just the fact that meeting meeting a stranger to go and buy something can be very nerve-wracking for people so here are a few things that i would do when i go purchase things from people on Facebook Market or from Craigslist. I meet them at a store, a popular store or um, grocery store, things like that. I bought this in a Kroger parking lot. I bought the outlet from a lady at the Women and Children's Hospital. I bought the tub in the Target parking lot. And I bought the, uh, no, I bought the tub in front of Belk outlet <laughs> or the Belk store in the mall and then I bought the <laughs> Mamaru in a Target parking lot. So um, always meet of course in a public forum. I pull up to the door as close as I can um, <laughs> for camera purposes because there may be a camera to capture everything and then also bring a friend or just take somebody or call somebody or be on the phone when you're purchasing it. So yeah that's just a, a thing that maybe you know that can help you if you are interested in buying stuff for people but you're you may be nervous and i always meet in the daytime of course so those are just a few tips when you are shopping online just be safe and um don't meet anybody after hours meet in a very public place park in the vicinity of uh, you know where grocery store cameras or you know might be a present um or um bring a friend um, so, yeah. as always thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to y'all later peace